hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl henrietta um so if you're watching this video i guess you have watched my last video where i did make an announcement that i would be traveling to canada to study and you know i did say on that video that i would be sharing steps um on my journey how i was able to come along admission and all of that so on today's episode this is um this is video one of a four or five part series um so on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i was able to get admission how i was able to process my admission myself um some things that helped me helpful tips and also sharing some resource with you guys and all that type of stuff so um first of all i want to apologize there is a very distracting noise in the background i think they are constructing something close to my estate and so it's quite loud but i hope it's not so bad you know in this video by the time i you know go over the video again so um today i'm going to be sharing with you guys getting admission um things you should do how you should prepare things you should know um so i'm going to put this disclaimer i am not a professional i am not a what they call it immigration personnel nothing but you know of course i know that when i was you know trying to look for information gathering information on you know admission visa and all of that i did come come across videos that people um like me you know people made sharing their experiences you know and i was able to learn a thing or two because you know i feel like it's easier when you're you know hearing this thing from someone who has actually passed through than you know getting official um um you know checking the official site and all of that sometimes it may be confusing but you know when you see someone who has done this then you know it's easier for you to understand and so that is why i'm taking it upon myself to you know go through my experience and just share as much as i can because you know i know how help how helpful it would be you know for someone who is you know, just looking to start and so yes yeah, so let's um go into the video proper so the details I am going for a diploma course, a business general um, business diploma course. A, it's a two-year um, undergrad diploma course in Niagara College, Toronto. So um, um, if you are looking to apply for like a master's or like a PhD, then to be honest, this video is not for you because, you know, that's not... That's not what I applied for, so I didn't do any research. I didn't, you know, look at those options because that was not what I was going for. So I was aiming for like an undergrad diploma or like a postgraduate diploma. So any of those two. But then I got in um, for the undergrad diploma, and I also got admission for a postgraduate diploma. But you know, I went with this. I went with this option um, instead. So I'm going to be sharing that. So when um, I once I decided I was going to study, um, I started looking for schools. I started looking for colleges because I know colleges are um, are like where you get like um, you know uh, diploma courses and postgraduate diploma. So if you're looking to do masters and PhD, then you should be looking at universities. But if you're looking to do diplomas undergrad diploma certificate courses then you should be looking at um colleges so i started you know doing my research checking for colleges different colleges you know there were a lot there are a lot of colleges in canada so so many but one thing you should note is um if you're trying to go study as an international student then you should be looking for colleges who are that are um um designated so they call them dlis designated learning institute because it is only when you graduate from a dli that is when you can you know get do get like a post um graduate work permit or you know get some of those benefits right so you have to make sure that the school is a dli um you have to make sure that the course that you are looking to apply for is also eligible for a postgraduate work permit if you have intentions to you know stay behind and work for a while um, in Canada so you have to make sure that you do your due research and I think if you go on their website I would probably try to link that you would see a list of the schools that are 
um dli's list of the schools that are approved and then when you reach out to the school make sure that you ask questions you ask you know this course is he eligible for a postgraduate work permit um, is your school a dli but of course you would have seen the school listed amongst um the dli the school that are designated learning institutes right you would see the school and so one other thing that i want to say is um this my getting my admission was DIY. Like I said before, I did it myself. Um, I did get help from the school, which I'm going to, you know, talk about much later. But yeah, I did it myself. But on the other hand, I did contact an agent that I used. Um, I'm going to link their Instagram handle because they were really helpful. And even though I did not go go with their with their um the choice, I was able to get admission with them, but you know. I had gone so far with my own process and you know i just wanted to follow that so um i did get admission a postgraduate um diploma admission i did get that but when i weighed my options not even weighed my options because you know i'd already committed to this other school i had already um, paid my school fees because this this admission that i did myself came in um quicker or faster than this other one so i would link their handle i think study with mrs o um or study global cons i would link their handle to be sure so that i'm sure i'm directing you to the to the good to the right um place because another thing you want to be beware of um is scammers scam agents scam like oh my gosh so i'm on this group on telegram um um i think all of canada's telegram group and there are over fifteen thousand people on that group you know, people who are in the process of looking for admission, people who have gotten admission in the process of applying for their visa, you know, just different categories of people um, in the same struggle on that group. And that group was really helpful. Um, but one thing that occurred a lot was scam stories, agent that has scammed people in the name of looking for admission, calling millions, millions, millions. So you want to be careful who you are approaching as an agent right for your um admission your visa applications and all of that we're going to talk about these applications in another video entirely so um starting my admission process i did reach out to the agent agency and you know they are verified they work hands in hand in hand with some schools in canada helping nigerian students to get admission to to process admission now there's no guarantee you're going to get your admission when you're using an agent right if you don't meet the criteria then don't allow somebody to tell you oh you have to pay x amount of money it doesn't work that way so um yes i did apply with an agent i applied for two schools um they don't charge me or they didn't charge me like a particular amount they didn't charge me any amount of money to to process for like like a fee or something for their services they didn't charge me the only thing they charged me was you know the amount the the amount of money that canadian schools charge and most canadian schools will charge about within 80 to 100 canadian dollars for admission i mean application fee and so i paid that for two schools there's really no need to mention the schools, but I paid that for two colleges. Um, the first college, hands down, they rejected my application. <laughs> they, so they didn't give me admission um, for the first school I applied. But then the second school, they gave me admission, but it came, say, like four months later. Um, before then, that period, that waiting period, you know what? I was just scrolling on Google, you know, searching through some of the schools, you know, going through some of the schools um niagara college actually caught my attention but um you know i don't know why i didn't reach out to them and so i was scrolling 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 and then i came across niagara college toronto so apparently they partnered with um um toronto school of management and they they have a partnership so they use um toronto school of management campus and they have a school there i don't know how to explain it but yeah that's that's it so they're in, they're in partnership with toronto school of management so niagara college is in niagara it's in another place niagara you know i don't really know so much but yeah i know it's in another place but now they they have partnered with um toronto school of management and so they have like a um department in toronto where they do like um um, business courses they do um, international business they do tourism 
and you know they do some other some other you know management courses like that and so i came across their their website i would link the website for you you can check it out and you know i feel the form honestly i just i didn't even know what i was doing but i just filled the form and you know the next day somebody called me from from the school and they say oh we saw your uh we saw your form that you have that you filled and you know um you indicated interest you know for someone to reach out to you and so i'm calling to find out you know would you like to apply for our school like that like that like that like that so he introduced himself and he said he was the student recruitment officer for the school and you know his job is to help me you know guide me in my application process and you know that was really helpful you know one thing that really caught my attention and really you know made me choose this school was how how helpful they, they were in terms of you know helping me with my application with everything you know always you were just available so much that you know i could send an email anytime if i had like an question like a question or a concern and you know they would get back to me their response rate was like this and um so i did tell him that okay you know what this is the course i'm looking to apply and you know i just spoke with him and he was like okay so these are the options you know these are the options that you have you can just pick which one you know fits you more and you know after i sat down and thought about it so i decided to go for an undergrad um diploma um in business it's a two years course and you know i went for like the general option because like they cover everything from hr to um uh, accounting bookkeeping all of that stuff because it's a general course and you know i feel like okay that way um i can decide you know if it's if it's what i want to do i can decide to then branch out or specialize in like an area that um interests me more but like having like a general knowledge of everything kind of gives you that that um option to choose what you know you're feeling more and so i decided to go for the general the business general option and because it's an undergraduate diploma i did not need to submit my transcript i did not need to submit um um any like um any document um showing my university edu education because it's a it's a post-secondary um certification so all i needed to show was my wayek my wayek results um uh, my my ss my first school living certificate like to show that you completed secondary school and my wayek result and i think five credits five credits or so so that's what you need your international passport your um what's the word your international passport your Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little bit distracted because I'm getting messages on my phone and it's distracting me. My international passport, my um, WIAC results, my first school living certificate. And yeah, so I think that's all I had to submit. But I do know that if you're applying for like a postgraduate diploma, you have to show your transcripts from your university and you have to show your like your degree from your university and so i i did that and i went ahead and i applied and i paid like a hundred dollars a hundred canadian dollars for like application fee and you know that was it they sent me a message your application has been received you're going to process it yada, 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 yada. and after a few weeks say maybe two months i'm not sure like i would check and i would put like the correct date because you know, i want to give accurate information and then um it was a day to my birthday i remember it was a tuesday my birthday was a wednesday i was in church when i received the email that i had been you know granted admission and it was so memorable for me and if you watch my first video i told you that god just wanted me to know that you know it is me that is doing this because everything happened at a significant time so i was so excited because you know it was my birthday's eve best birthday present i could ever ask for and my admission came and after my admission came um i went ahead and paid my school fees um so some schools will tell you to pay 
um maybe like a thousand dollars a thousand five hundred dollars to reserve your seats they'll tell you to pay within a certain date but for my school they didn't have that option so you could either pay full full school fees or you you could pay like um half term school fees which was what i did now uh, when it comes to price points um so i would say that colleges are kind of cheaper than um universities and um if you're doing like an undergrad diploma um the price point from doing a pgd in my school like in niagara college i don't really know so much about other schools but in niagara college is really not so much it's pretty much within the same price um bracket so for my school school fees is around um um, I'll just give you guys a range around eighteen thousand to twenty thousand um Canadian dollars per per year. That's per session. And sorry, they just took the light. And my course is a two year course, so do the math eighteen to twenty k times two. Um, so yeah, that's what it is for school fees. But I do know that if you're looking to apply for like masters or um or like a PhD, then you should be looking at above. 20k or you know there about i don't really know like i said i don't really know but i know that colleges are generally cheaper than um you know universities and all of that so you want to make sure that you do your research and another thing that i want you to understand is you can totally do this thing yourself um don't feel overwhelmed by you know before i started my application it just felt like oh you know they a professional person so somebody somebody professional has to do this thing for you you can't do it by yourself because you know people make this sound like a big deal and i'm not trying to undermine the whole application process it was very frustrating especially applying for visa i am going to give you guys like <laughs> i'm going to give you guys like the gist when you know when i'm making that video but yeah like it's something that if you calm down um ask necessary questions is something you can do on your own and one thing that i would say about um you know these international these schools abroad is you know unlike our nigerian schools that you know you feel intimidated asking questions or you feel intimidated reaching out to schools and asking questions because i don't know nigerian nigerian staff nigerian academic staff I still have PTSD from, from my university experience. And so, you know, I was in, in the beginning, um, you know, when, when, the, when the school, when the school rep reached out to me and said, you know what, any questions you have? So I always felt nervous, you know, I would be confused. I, I don't know something, but I can't ask because, you know, that Nigerian factor, but, you know, I just had to, you know, the guy was like, you know, any questions you have, any questions you have. And so, you know, I would send him an email, even when I'm sending the emails, if I'm, I'm worried, I'm sending it, hope this question is not sounding somehow, but, you know, he was always nice. And even when he replied the email and it looked like, okay, I probably wasn't understanding. He was going to call me and, you know, he, he's just like, you know what? If you need me to call, just send me an email. Tell me to call you and I'll call you immediately. So um, do your research. Most of these schools have like a working, very active working website. So you would see like emails, um, phone numbers. Please don't worry. Call, send emails. Just make sure that you're getting like the right information um, that you need. And, you know, I'm sure that they're more than willing to answer your questions and address any concerns that you are having it's better to know and be sure of what you're doing so that you don't make mistakes um and you don't fall into the hands of scammers masquerading as agents right so i'm not saying that don't use an agent of course you know not everybody would be able to do 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 the whole process themselves but if you're using an agent just make sure that you have done your 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 due research and this person is someone you can trust this person is verified most likely you know somebody that you know this person has worked with and this person has helped and you know always go with referrals and so i am going to link the instagram handle for the people who helped me with my um admission the one that i didn't go with right the one i am going with now was the one i did myself but the one i didn't go with um, I would link their handle because, you know, they did a fantastic job. Like I said, they didn't charge me. Um, they only charged, they, the only thing I paid was the application fee, a hundred Canadian dollars. And I paid for two schools. So I paid 200 Canadian dollars. Um, one of the schools did not give me admission, but one of the schools later gave me admission. But that came, say, 
two months after i have paid my school fees with niagara college so that was when that admission came but it was too late and i could not take the admission and to be honest you know right now that i've gotten my visa and everything you know i just feel like this was god's plan um this is where god want, wants me to be this is what god wants me to do and yes yeah, so that's that about that so i didn't bother with that what with that admission um so um uh so i think that's 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 what i have to say when it goes to when it when when it comes to my admission and getting admission and just applying um it was diy i'm repeating myself at this point but yeah it was diy um do a lot of research a lot of research a lot a whole lot of research and um what else 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 if you're looking to do a pgd a diploma look at colleges if you're looking to do like masters and all of that look at universities right and i don't really know so much about that just like i've said earlier because what i applied for was a diploma course so yeah i don't know if i have covered everything that i need to tell you guys but yeah if you still have questions for me you can just put that in the comment section and i would you know answer it to the best of my abilities if i don't know i tell you i don't know but if i know i will tell you that i know and i would answer you the best way that i can so yeah um that's it for this video on my next video i am going to be talking about writing ielts and you know things that i did in preparing for applying for my visa like so if you if you are interested in in that so look watch out for that video that's the next video i'm going to be posting um how i wrote my ielts and cleared my ielts i got it band eight overall band eight guys um i i passed my ielts really well so watch out for that video and some of the things that i did to prepare me for my visa application i would also state that in that next in the next video that i'm going to be doing so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and um i will see you in my next video bye guys